Good morning and happy Valentine's Day, everybody. What a great morning we have. And uh, boy, it's the day for love. It's the day for red. It's the day for hearts and chocolate and all of that. Got a morning manner just for you on this morning. And uh, glad that you are part of my day. And I'm glad and honored that you permit me to be a part of your day. Uh, it's always the text, the talk, and the takeaway. Give you the text. Give you a little bit of the talk and then a takeaway so that you can apply it to your life throughout the day. Want to remind you, please share the manna. Don't be greedy. Don't eat it all for yourself. And if it's your first, second, or third time joining us, we always like to know who you are and where you are so we can share the manna. We're going to get right into it uh, so that we can share the manna. Send the hearts, especially on this Valentine's Day, and the likes as well. Um, you remember the song by Tina Turner, What's love got to do with it? What's love got to do with it? Here's the text about our talk. The text is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world. What does love got to do with it, though? Here's the talk about our text. The first thing is, is that um, love, it takes love to get love. Think about it. It takes love to get love. What do I mean by that? The scripture says that we love him because he first loved us. Let me give you the revelation of what that means. There was a um, empirical study done, scientific study done on babies in a orphanage and the babies that received no love became ill some of them died and they had they were malnourished emotionally and therefore they ended up being deformed literally how about that because nobody picked them up nobody cuddled them nobody did anything but just stuck a bottle in their mouth then there were the babies in the orphanage that they love, they spoke to, you know how you cool, you speak to a baby and you say all kinds of things to the baby and notice this, notice then there is when, that's when the baby responds. What are you saying? God says, we love him because he first loved us. In other words, you have to have love put in you before you can get love out of you. You got to have love put in you before you can get love out of you. So if you're trying to get love out of somebody, put some love in them. And uh, if they never put love in you, that's why you can't respond with love to them. And God says he loved us first. That's why we can love him. Second thing is this. Love covers, the scripture says, love covers a multitude of faults. Love covers a multitude of faults. So you better watch who you love because you may end up loving them through their faults. Be mindful of that because once your love is engaged, it covers a multitude of faults. That's what the Lord does with us. I'm so thankful for that as well because of all of the faults that we have, and I know that I have, his love covers that. Here's the third thing. Here's the third thing is love is not an emotion, but a commitment. Let me say it again. You got to get this revelation. Love is not an emotion but a commitment. The love that God has for us and that the love that we should have for one another is not based on our emotions because emotions cannot be trusted. Your emotions can't be trusted. One day your emotions is one way and another day your emotions is another day way. It depends on what's going on, depending on the way your emotions are working. They're not trustworthy. But love that the God that God tells us about is a commitment and therefore is trustworthy. Now let's answer the question that we asked at the very beginning. What does love, and I believe Tina, she asked the question so well, what does love got to do with it? What does love, what is love but a secondhand emotion? Well, Tina, here's the answer. And here's the answer for your morning matter. Everything. Love has everything to do with it. And that's why our Lord sent his son on our behalf. Happy Valentine's Day. Swim in some love of God and share the love, share the manna. God bless you. May his face shine upon you and give you peace throughout this Valentine's Day. I'll see you tomorrow morning.
with more Morning Man. Bye.